know, not in the sense that she will be wearing and representing the Philippines for Miss Worldwide. There, all right. Okay, the crowd. Ayan, gusto ko i-claim itong moment na ito na ganun din ang mangyayari when she goes to India. She will of course receive the sash and the crown which she has been working so hard for. What a beautiful moment to see and experience here in Fort Lady Visa. Again, I thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Maraming salamat po to all of our media and press friends for being here with us. May alam po, maraming maraming pa kayo gusto pala ang tungkol kay Alexandra at maraming pa kayo gusto itanong sa kanya. So we will have that a little bit later. Sexy Aid League, umaapaw na po sa salamat sa inyo dahil naramdam na ramdam ko ang pagmamahal ng aking mga media friends at aking mga nakadakan. From the very start hanggang sa natapos tayo kay Grishel, ngayon naman ay uh, ang pag-alis at ang uh, ating uh, press conference send of a uh, party na rin para kay uh, Alessandro De Rossi, ating supermodel worldwide Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat syempre sa ating Everblend family. Of course, my core TV sa family. Maraming maraming salamat. At nawa ay uh, lagi kong makuha ang inyong support at magmamahal. Dahil ganun ko din kayo mamahal, hindi naman media ang tuwing ko sa inyo, hindi ka pamilya. Ganun po po na kami. Hindi naman tayo, uh, hindi naman tayo, uh, uh, media manager ang ating relasyon, pero pinaparamdam ko sa inyo at ramdam na ramdam ko din naman ang pumabalik ng inyo laging pagtulog sa akin. Kaya maraming salamat sa pag-support nyo sa Mega Models Events and Talent Management. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed with our courses and questions for our media and press friends, I would just like to call on for a message for Alexandra. This is the owner of Kekanda Flores, which has molded multiple beauty queens all over the world. Please put your hands together for Tito Rochelle Flores. Actually, nung matend ako nung nag-judge ako ng pageant ni Sis Meg noong 2019. Makita-kita. Diba? Sis Meg, kinulit-kulit ko na si Sis Meg. Sabi ko, dapat mo binibigin ito. And then, five day na pa, oo. So, nung nag-binibigin siya, siyempre, continue siya training namin. Kung alam niyo po, Masaya talaga ako pag nandun si Alex. Kasi, alam mo yan, Alex. Di ba? Tapos yung mga bonding moments namin, ang forgettable, pagkasali kami after. And then, nahirap sa kanya, ibinibini. Tapos nung naging ganun yung resulta, medyo nalungkot ako. Sabi ko sa kanya, na, bawi ka ulit, sali ka na ulit ang bibini. Pero ngayon, ang ganda talaga po ng opportunity. Okay, so si yung Meso America, it's Bessie who asked me if I could join, and I really wanted to, but at that time, since yun yung post not yet post pan during pandemic pa yun, but for me, parang sa industry ko pa na wala nagresign kasi ako nung sa Okada kasi it has been um, very stressful working three times a week lang and no pay yung the rest. 
So I I resigned and um, looked for a new job. And yeah, I got to a short-term rental apartment in Miami and New Orleans. So when I got there, one month pa lang ako, then Mama Bessie told me if I want to join. I really wanted to, but when I asked permission to them, although they were so... Parang pumayag sila, pero hindi sila yung same enthusiasm na I get when I was here in the Philippines. Because I understand because the French culture, they're Americans, and we are they are not um, pageant lovers as much as we are here in the Philippines. So, and just out of respect, uh, next start pa lang po, I'm still there one month. I will be pa ko regular. So, talagang nandun yung bigat sa puso ko na parang this is not for me. Kasi, nahihiya ako dun sa company. Kasi they pay well, mababait yung mga ka-work ko. And it's work from home very um, helpful for me since yung mga pandemic. And I'm in the in industry that I love. Nasa hospitality ako. So, Nandun, nandun talaga yung bigat ng loob ko na huwag na kaya ako tumuloy kasi parang hindi naman sila supportive. Hindi naman sila ganun kasi mm -hmm. baka wala naman akong balikan. Mm -hmm. So ayoko nang ma-stress na lumarapa ako tapos iniisip ko wala na akong babalikan na work. Kasi of course, I'm not sure if I win there and biglaan din siya. So thankfully, si Nightmare sa kasi Mama Bess, they were very understanding, especially Mama Bessie, kasi na parang naasikas na niya lahat, yung visa ko on the way na. Minamatch siya kay Mayor Mark Howe. Talagang naiintindo niya kasi nga, in my industry, ang tagal kong walang work, kahit nandun pa ako sa Okada, lagi sa Kado. So, ayun, sabi niya, focus on my career daw mo natin niya. And then sa business na naman, yun nga, friend ko talaga si Sir JJ, yung official videographer ng pageant na yun. And his wife is the national director. So, sabi niya, ba't pa daw siya upuhan ng di niya kikala kung nandito naman daw ako na alam niya naman na kakaya dito. So, Na-flutter naman din ako kasi matagal na natin kami magkakilala. I know naman na hindi siya, hindi niya ako ine-ene. So, talagang sabi ko, sige, so we, ang maganda nun kasi nagkaroon kami ng teamwork since andun na photographer shop. We have, um, we have their team. Kung baga, nag-gawa kami ng various photoshoots to tribute to the to India. So, sabi ko, oh, sige, sige, uh, we'll work this out. So, yun, yun lang, ganun. Actually, chinat niya lang ako nun. Sabi niya, ikaw na yung pupunin kong, ano, representative. Sabi ko, seryoso ko ba? Kasi itiklaan. Sabi ko, ay, ang dami kong sabi, ala, ang taba ko, ala, anong gagawin ko, sino mag-aayos sa akin doon, sino mag-aayos sa akin. Sabi niya sa akin, huwag na nga after mo. Ganun kami lang mag-usap. But then, nag-meeting kami with Naime, nagka-okay naman. Tapos, yun, tuloy-tuloy na. And I, Doong job ko, na-lay off ako. Kaya sabi ko, okay, siguro... That's real. That's real. Fine. Kung mag sabi niya, sige, tuloy mo yan. Parang mong for you. Siguro yun yun. Hopefully, yun. Talagang sakto kasi na-lay off ako September. Yung talagang mong mag-alas. Ajay from my friend. It's nice to see you again. Uh, by the way, you have mentioned a while ago uh, regarding with your preparation for this uh, Miss uh, Supermodel Worldwide uh, Philippines. Ayan, so, saan ka mismo nag-focus sa preparations mo? Yun nga, sa dahil ako nag-unang nag-focus, but now um, we're focusing on our styling. We want it to be very Filipina. And but with a, but we also want to uh, um, acknowledge their culture. So it's either I'll be wearing a very Filipina um uh, or a B style very Fil ma maka Filipina talaga, talaga pure Filipina. Or we have a dress na may inspiration ng India. So that's our that's we are focusing right now in preparation. Another follow up question. So, since uh, this is not uh, the typical pageant, so it's a combination of pageant and as well as modeling. So, pertaining to the modeling, what kind of attitude uh, will you consider to uh, get that crown for you? Um, I got this from 
Sir JJ tip niya since he was already there for the first few years ng no budget. Um, sabi niya maging mabait lang daw ako sa organization. They want, they want someone, kasi um, they want someone daw na madaling makatrabaho pa. So, I think I'll, I, yun sa attitude, yun yung magiging ano po, um, offer na mga pinalaban ko sa kanila. Kasi, I'm good with people naman, uh, nakik na eh, marunong naman ako makisama. And, as I mentioned nga, I have a good um, vision for the budget and I want it to be a teamwork if ever na they allow me or they will give me the crown. So, ayun, attitude lang talaga. I'll be at my best attitude. Alright, thank you so much and congratulations in advance. Thank you.